Hi Capricorn, this is Jeffrey. This is Ripe Color. And this is your three card reading for December 2020. Please like, subscribe, share, comment. Uh, and press the one, uh, press the bell for notifications. I'm offering uh, 30 minute readings for $30. Uh, all the information is below. Uh, additionally, I have, whoops, I have an Instagram feed, and uh, I would appreciate all the support that I can uh, muster. And, but my Instagram feed is really my art feed, and it's right color, very simple. So if you're up for that, if that's interesting to you, if it's not interesting to you, then there's no point, right? <laughs> How's that for a sales pitch? <laughs> I'm burning the incense, so it's sort of like, where am I? Where are you? Okay. Three cards. One, two, three. Okay. Away we go. One, two, three. Okay, <clears throat> we get the world. It's really, really appropriate because, um, you know, I've said this before in other Capricorn readings, but this whole, this whole, I mean, Pluto is still gonna be in your sign, but it's going to be less exaggerated because um, Saturn and Jupiter are leaving and they're moving into Aquarius. So, it's time to wrap things up. It's the world. So the world is about um, endings and new beginnings. It's the last card in the deck. So um, whatever you've been working on, whatever um, you've been contemplating, whatever, it's time to wrap it up and put it in, and it's like, uh, let's say you're a writer, right? It's time to complete that book, put a period on the end of it, close it, and begin a new book. The smoke is a little much. I think I'm going to move it. Maybe if I move it on this side, it'll be a little bit less smoky. No, not necessarily. Okay. <laughs> smells good. Okay, then you get the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is really an interesting card. This is like, um, now I want you to also realize that the iconography a lot of times in a lot of these decks, sometimes it's a little darker than it needs to be. But he, this is a line in the sand. This is like, um, in theory, he's sort of like, you know, he's in the middle of a battle and there's sort of like this respite, this moment in the battle where he decides it's like he has like a minute to like go oh, oh, right and then he has to decide you know how he's going to move forward however like on the positive side of this card even though it doesn't look it it's a nine and nine is about attainment nine is about attainment so you know I know in, it's what I, I guess I'm trying to say is like, it's time to wrap it up, whether it's a hundred million percent finished or not. It's like, okay, okay. That's kind of done and we're gonna be done with it. There, there's something that needs to close. There's something that needs to end. Um, And then you get the King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles is the great businessman. It could definitely be Capricorn. The King of Pentacles, um, you know what I feel? I feel like this is really, there's this tremendous lesson that you've learned regarding money, regarding, um, security, and even 
probably regarding health, you know, because pentacles, and it's not just money. Pentacles are anything in the material world, right? So, it, you know, it's very easy to see it as a money reading, and a lot of times it is. But it's also, it's about security, it's about health, it's about anything that on this plane, let's say. So, actually, I feel like the lesson has been learned, and there's a certain, and, and you got something out of the lesson. And, you know, sometimes you're in a class in school, say, <clears throat> And you find that topic really, let's say it's history, I love history. So let's say I'm in a college class of history and, um, and it's something that like I really relish and blah, blah, blah. And I'm almost sorry when the class is over, right? I'm like, God, I wish I'd learned more. Well, because you took that class, it's like, let's say you took Roman history 101, let's just for just say. You took Roman, so it's like now you understand where the Romans came from. You understand, um, like, like the the basic outline of their history of like who they conquered, what they learned from the people they conquered, blah blah blah, how they ran the government, blah blah. And then, so now that you have the one on one, you can say, well, what's interesting to me is uh, what they ate. What's interesting to me is how they traded. What's interesting, but now you have like the base knowledge. So you're gonna be able to say, okay, well, I wanna know more about this. I, this is not that interesting to me. I wanna know more about that. You know, maybe it's about Rome's uh, relationship with Carthage or Rome's relationship with the Greeks or Rome's relationship with Egypt or whatever, I don't know. Um, now that you have your base knowledge, you're gonna be able to um, open a new, a new uh, book, a new chapter. But it's time to like pause. It's time to pause and acknowledge what you do and don't know, uh, acknowledge what's over and um, to understand, you know, this is it's because it's sort of a pause. Um, it's like, okay, well, that's as far as I could take that class, right? This is that's as far as I could take that class because the class is now over. And you decide whether you want to like go for extra credit or take uh, a class that's related to it that's like an offshoot of it or something like that. It's kind of like that. That was actually a good description, I have to say. <laughs> um, it's time to wrap things up. There's, 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 it's time to sort of wrap things up so that you can um, sort of have closure with it and move on into your new endeavor. Into your new endeavor. You know, like let's say, I don't want to give another example. Yeah, I, I think my, my first example was good enough. Okay, so that's where I'm at. And that's where I think you're at. And if you want a one-on-one, -on -one, all the information is below and uh, enjoy the month. And if it's your birthday, happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs>